welcome back. Um, I know I've been gone for a long period of time. Well, two weeks. Uh, this week I'm deciding that I'm gonna show you the past, like, little while that I've been ordering some stuff online. It's the Christmas season. I decided to, like, order some stuff for some people, but then also order stuff for myself. Because I'm selfish. Anywho, we're gonna start with the smallest stuff first. So the first thing I'm gonna go to, as you can tell, I've already opened it. It came in this weird packaging, like it was all like wrapped up and I was just like, no. So it's uh, from Flawless Lighting. Um, I saw this from uh, Nikki Tutorials. Um, she had this one time for her phone, so I wanted and decided that I'm gonna buy it for myself and I wanna see if it works, pretty much. You clip it onto your phone, like right where your camera is, and then it has like a little button at the top and you just turn it on and it gives you light. Makes you look all purdy and stuff, but then there's like three options. So it's like this first option, second option, third option, and that's about it. <laughs> so it depends on how much lighting you need. You put it on your camera, it's really, really, like, it's really kind of small, so you can put it in your purse, have it around, and have flawless lighting at all times. So yeah, I what I got was uh, these little like brush holders but they're also for like a belt so this one's just like a lime green it has like this silkier kind of feel to it but it's definitely like rubbery plastic and it smells super fake so you know I spent a lot of money on it I also have this like shiny pink one because I can't I can't not buy pink I don't know what it is I used to hate it as a kid nowadays anything that's shiny and pink I just buy it <laughs> I'm a freak. But yeah, so decided to do that just in case I start doing more looks with other people or start doing just looks on other people on my channel. So just wanted to figure that out. So I bought these two for the near future, hopefully. And the next stuff I got... Oh, I almost dropped it. Uh, Sephora. There's so much paper in this. part is that I bought all this stuff and then a week later I forgot that November has the VIB sale and I just didn't do it because I didn't need anything else besides this stuff so instead I got that like perfume sale so I hope everyone else knows what I'm talking about because that's what I got instead of the VIB sale because I'm dumb you know what I'm saying all right so let's jump on to it I bought this product a long time ago and I really liked it and I bought like there was like the sampler bottle like normal people and there was a bigger one that was about like mm, like yay big like kind of chubby and I was like you know what that lasted me like maybe two months maybe so this time like screw it I'll spend just like 20 bucks more and I'll buy the big bottle I did not read the amount of liquid that will be inside this bottle and oh my god when I show you this you're gonna be like what where I don't know I I just, <laughs> what is this? <laughs> this is the largest bottle I've ever seen in my entire life. Yeah, so this is Cinema Secrets. It's Pro Cosmetics. Um, it's a makeup brush cleaner. So it's quick drying, rinse-free formula. Will clean, condition, and uh, deodorize both natural and synthetic makeup brushes. So what you do is that you take a bit of this, you put it into like a cup or like, whatever the fuck and they normally come with a tin but I'm not paying 14 bucks for this tin that I can just have at home whatever so you just pour a bit in there you dip your brush in just a little bit you don't like swirl it around there you just dip your brush in and then you put like a paper towel and you swirl around the paper towel and it cleans your brushes conditions them smells like vanilla and they dry like almost instantly like you can still kind of feel a bit of dampness but it's pretty much way drier than just sticking it under the sink. The only thing about this stuff that I had to be a bit more cautious about is that my makeup brushes that were dirtier than most makeup brushes, if I had to dip it in a few times, sometimes the bristles that were white at the top kind of turn a bit blue. You just rinse it off and the blue will just come right off. It didn't actually stain your brushes. It terrified me the first time when it happened because I thought, oh my god, I've been using this so much that my makeup brushes are turning blue. This is not what I want. I spent so much money. Meh. So like... Instead, you just use a little bit of this, don't go nutso putso with it, and your makeup brushes won't turn blue. And if they do, don't worry, it will rinse off. <laughs> you like order from Sephora and they ask you if you want like a box or a bag. I asked for the bag because I'm a freak. <laughs> I literally was like, 
oh my god, I get a silk bag? What are they gonna do with it? And they put one of my products in a silk bag. I'm like, okay, I don't need the silk bag. I was wasting my time, but it was free. Tori can't say no to free things. Ooh. This was Sephora Favorites Hair Rescue Masks on the Go. So they're all like small, apparently. Yeah, they're all like small samplers, and there's like so many different products. Rita Hazen. Probably saying it wrong. You know me. Story Tough Channel. Words of non existent factors. Anyways, let's get to it. Deeply hydrates and restores color treated, that's not me, damaged maybe, frizzy hair, not so much, or all hair types. Why don't you just put all hair types instead of just listing all the shit it actually helps with and then just saying, you know what, just in case it doesn't work to you, just say all hair types. And someone will use it. Use in place of conditioner. Apply a quarter size amount. Well, this is a tester size. I'm gonna use a whole thing. What am I gonna use with the rest of the package? Stupid. Yeah, so you put the first one in after shampooing. Instead of conditioning, you just put it to your roots, like roots to your tips of your hair. Second one, and then you put it to your roots, tips, rinse it out. Get it the fuck out of the shower. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I got, I got one try and another try. So I thought it would just be one sample. Got two samples. And I'm throwing them around. Verb! Manage restores and hydrating mask. After washing with verb shampoo. When are you gonna give me the verb shampoo? I'm not gonna wash with verb sand. I'm just gonna wash my regular shampoo and I'm gonna put this shit in my hair. Like, <laughs> work formula through damp hair. Allow mask to sit on the hair for five to seven minutes. Rinse. After my shampoo. So shampoo and then I have to find something to do for five to seven minutes. Gloss. High gloss. There's no description. <laughs> Just says high gloss and then has a barcode. <laughs> like, okay. Gloss. High gloss. Still says nothing about it. It just tells me the ingredients. Can you tell me how to use it? Okay, let's see if I can see. Mm. Something about shine. Oh! The runway ready results. Massage into washed hair for five minutes and rinse it. One complaint. That was the smallest writing I've ever read in my entire life. And I'm already annoyed. It smells fucking good though. Don't uh, despair repair. Deep conditioning mask. After shampooing, massage. Don't despair repair into your hair from the root to tip, leaving for five to 10 minutes. What am I gonna do for five to 10 minutes in the shower? <sighs> I don't know, this is stupid. Christoph Robin, Christoph. Christoph Robin. Smells like cream. When you have like really bad, like dry hands. That's what it smells like. Plunge into scalp. And to the ends, add water, lather, leave it in for two to three minutes, then rinse. See, that's a little bit more reasonable. Yay. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. This one is for hair care. It's a treatment mask. Doesn't tell you how to use it. Living proof. I've heard of, like, their, like, dry shampoo and also their shampoo and conditioner. I've never heard of their, like... Oh, this is a nightcap. You put it on overnight. Pillows are gonna be destroyed by nightcap overnight perfecter. To damp or dry hair before bed, from roots to ends, comb through. Leave in or wash out in the morning. Phyto. Phyto Paris. Phyto. I don't know. Exceptional mask, ultra damage, brittle, and dry hair. Maybe. Might have that. I'm not really too sure what type of hair type I have. I have straight hair. Okay, so leave it, you put this in your hair, you leave it in for five minutes, and then you rinse it out. BB. Invisible oil. Dry and very dry hair. Distribute through dry hair and let sit for 20 minutes. And then it tells me to use her shampoo and conditioner. I'm not using your, I'm not buying your shampoo and conditioner. I'm sorry. I'm using this because it's a sample. Bye-bye. That's everything in the box. That's everything for that. That was probably super long, but that was a lot of hair products. Now, some other stuff that I actually bought from uh, Sephora, and I bought myself a couple of them. And, like, these are it. This is the biggest one that I got was this one, was the Makeup Forever one, this one. So this is the biggest size that they have or that they offer. This is the smaller one I have, the medium size one I have. 
and then I have the bigger one. So this is the big one, the medium, and the like smaller one. So the free perfume and the box, them um, whatever deal that that was going on the week prior to the VIB sale. You get the two samplers. So I got the liquid lipstick in Centerfold from uh, Boxdom. Never tried them before, heard great things about them, so I thought, I eh, might as well try it out. So I got that one. Kind of like wearing that one single black dress, waiting for a man at a bar. And then, just, and then he comes and he's like, hey, can I buy you a drink? And then you're just like, no, I already bought myself one. Ooh, don't need no man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Chloe. <laughs> uh, replica. Don't remember picking this one, to be completely honest. But that's the normal bottle of what it looks like. Don't even want to use it because I think it smells so good. Like, this is probably one of my favorites. I'm Versace. Versace. Look how small it is. The smallest one out of all of them. Yes, Versace. I don't know, it smells like something my sister would wear. Not much to it. It's kind of strong. What I got was uh, the Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. Everyone knows this scent. I just don't have it. But yeah, that's everything that I got. Um, I have a couple things that might be coming up in the near future. Hopefully it actually happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I do for Christmas. If you have any like suggestions that you want for like makeup looks or anything else, um, I tend to do a Christmas video, like a full Christmas video by the end of December um, of just all the things that I actually do on Christmas. But I'm probably going to still post like videos weekly. Any comments, questions, concerns, and you want to like ask me, you can totally put in the comment down below. I don't know. Hopefully things work out. And if uh, some collabs actually happen, maybe that might happen over the Christmas season as well. And um, but until then, I guess I'll see you next Monday. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later.